This is the first in a series of presentations on how we can use hyperlinks within Microsoft PowerPoint. And the techniques we use here will work in other uh, versions, for example, OpenOffice as well. So first of all, in this presentation, I'm going to show you what is possible when we use hyperlinks within PowerPoint. And then in future presentations, I'll show you how you can actually create these effects. So first of all, the easiest way to add hyperlinks into a presentation is just to purely either type or copy the web address into the presentation. And then when you've done that, if you either press space or enter at the end of it, you'll see here it's made it blue and underlined it so it looks like a hyperlink. And if I click on that link there, it should open up the internet and take me straight to that page um, behind it. So I'll just let that do that. Now sometimes it takes a few seconds for it to load up the internet. But sometimes when we... Oh, here it comes coming through now so it's opened up the internet and it's gone straight to the website that I wanted which in this case is the JISC RSC for Southeast. So I'll just get rid of that. If this web address was quite an ugly long address then you don't want to put that into presentation because it will look a mess. So what you can do is you can apply any text and then you can attach a hyperlink to it. So as I hover over this you'll see here that I've got a more friendly piece of text and then behind it you can see the little pop-up showing that uh, is the hyperlink. I won't click on it because it takes a little while uh, to open up. And what you can also do is you can also add a hyperlink to an image. So again here, here's my image and I've got the same hyperlink to it. If I click on that, you'll see it will take me to the internet and it will load up the page. Okay. So it's a very simple and easy way to add uh, hyperlinks to websites. Another thing that we can do is we can link to other files. And you can link to any file you like, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, an image file, any file... Uh, possible. If the computer recognises the file type, it will automatically open it. So if it's a, a Word file, for example, the computer will probably say, oh yeah, I recognise Word, and it will actually open it within Word. So here I've got an example where I'm going to launch another PowerPoint file. So if I click on that link there, it will then take me to a PowerPoint presentation, one that I used in an earlier sequence. But what a lot of people don't realise is as well as linking to another file, is you can actually link to a specific part of another file. So on this one here, I'm going to link to the fourth slide within that presentation. Okay, so I've predetermined where I want to go. And if I'm using a spreadsheet, I can choose to link to a specific sheet, or if it's a Word document, I can point to a specific page or a specific heading within the document. Okay, and that's quite easy to do, and it can be quite useful. Other things that we can do is we can link to different slides within the presentation. Now here's the diagram that I used in an earlier sequence of um, presentations. And what I've got here now is I've made a hyperlink from each of these boxes. So if I click on the prepare box, it will take me to a slide for prepare. Now I've not got any information here. You'd obviously add your own text or your own additional images. Um, I'm just showing the mechanism working. And having gone here, I then need to go back. So I've got a back button. I can then look at, say, reflect and I can go back. Now the beauty of this is that we make our presentations uh, not linear, so you can follow things in any order. As a variation on that theme, rather than me going to a different page and then having to go back, I can also set it up so that my image remains on the left-hand side all of the time, so that I don't have to keep going back. The downside of this is it only works if your image is relatively small, and it means I've only got this much space on the right-hand side to add the additional information that I want. But for certain things, that can be very neat uh, and professional way to represent information, and it's very easy to do. And another thing we can do is we can create hotspots. So here I've got an image of a person climbing, and if I click on part of that image, it will tell me that that's the helmet, okay? And that's the ice axe, okay? And that's the harness, for example. So I've taken an image and I've added what are called hotspots. And again, I've done it in a way where my image stays on the left-hand side. So all of these things here can be used um, in different situations to great effect. And once you've learnt a handful of skills, it's very, very quick and easy to create these types of resources. And in the following presentations, I will show you how that is done.